Okay, this is our closing for the whole six weeks. Everyone kind of comes up and, and shares from their heart. It's just been a great, great retreat, really. It's been an emotional roller coaster for me. I've been going through all kinds of fears and going to joy and <laughs> back to some emotions. And it really shows that time is not really what it seems to be because it's like I've been here a lifetime. And really, for me to come to the point to see that I, I do not know, I thought I knew something about God, but I don't. That's scary to the ego, but most of all, to experience love, that's the greatest gift. And opening my heart, and I, <laughs> I had no idea what I was in for before I came here. I realized that all I need is right here. All I need is the willingness, and it's provided. And just being here for these six weeks has shown me that it's true. Like I've been given so much, so much guidance and learning and love. When I see you, I see mashed potatoes. <laughs> Michael has a different picture of us with mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, it's joyful. That's a fear of death. I've been there. <laughs> and survive the only way is up. <laughs> we can share a kitchen. <laughs> The single biggest thing I've learned is affectionating, and I'd like to demonstrate how it works right now. comes into my life, what am I asked to do? I want to give you some music. And this is not going to be special, it's not going to be good, it's not going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for starting that off because that was, <laughs> that was so cool. I'm so grateful that you never give up when we are, you never have. With all the things that I've done that I judge myself for, that you don't judge me for it. Thank you for letting us all join and witness this. It's so, so beautiful. We so deserve this, everybody. <laughs> 
And I wake up in the morning and my prayer is just let me be connected to the Holy Spirit today. But I forget. And then I sit down beside you guys and I feel it. And I think, oh yes, this is what I want. That sense of connection. And it is that sense of connection and peace and stillness. And that sense of freedom really speaks to me. You know, the bird flying free. Um, sense of freedom has always been calling me. The other aspect I really get is the support from everyone. I know that with joining, it's possible. I used to quote these favourite lines from the Course. You do not walk alone. It's that feeling of not walking alone that I get from all of us being here together. And that I am so excited about true joining, that level of intimacy. Like that's really the spark that if I could be really excited about anything, that's what it is. I really felt it so strongly at the angel wash. It, it was like a really opening up experience for me. What was new for me was that I, I wasn't looking for what I was going to be getting as I walked down the line. It became, as it went on, what I could give. You know, what, what could come through me was felt just as good. And I felt happy about that. And then, Kirsten, you said, this is how we live now, Catherine. <laughs> At the end. <laughs> I thought, ooh. <laughs> Wow, this is how we live. If we could live like this all the time, <laughs> in the experience of the angel wash. <laughs> if that's what it is, if that's what this experience is, then yes, I want that. And you've all helped me to peel away layers of crap. And for that, I'm so very grateful. You've inspired me to sing again, <laughs> which I haven't done for a very long time. Make me an instrument, Lord of thy peace, as I give love, as I release. Make me an instrument, humble and free. As I awaken the living Christ in me. And the big word for us has been trust, 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 trust. It's came through me all the days. That everything is okay as it is. To accept this. And all the mind watching was so good. I never done it that way before, so I realize now that this is a very big step stone for me to continue on. And I'm so grateful for this. And I love you. I wasn't very comfortable when I came here to be so close. When we are done the angel bath, I seemed to burn out my defense. And then it feels more like wearing the inside out. And that was a strange experience because I thought I was going to be hurt, but I wasn't. It just felt better. I love you all. <laughs> it feels so good that um, you, can, you can live without this defense, which I lost completely. But then I realize this ghost will never come back, will never have an effect anymore on me. I have a handicap, which you can't see. It has been a problem for me all my life, which I tried to hide. I can't read and write like you can. That's what's, what's the release, because when we started in the group, I was supposed to take notes and then couldn't hide anymore, I couldn't pretend, because then it would show. And then I told that I can't, then they know. <laughs> All in my group know that was the whole thing. And then it was nothing more. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> 
50 years, yes. 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 Yeah, I'm so glad that I have followed my heart, but I can't believe that it has taken me here. But I'm so grateful. And as I said in the beginning, I felt that this was the branching of the road. And I'm so glad that I have taken that jump. And now I'm on it. And I don't want to go back. And it has been so beautiful that when I have expressed things, I have made up a plan before what I would hear back. And none of you have said none of those things. <laughs> and, and thank you for that. <laughs> I have been in deep down and feel the core of my self-hatred. And I have felt so much guilt and... It has been so beautiful to have a safe place for that, to really go there. Things that I have, that had come to me, it's true, because I have seen so much evidence. And others that have received like the same guidance and the same visions. And yeah, that's make me so happy that I really, that I actually can trust my heart. It's like I'm learning to be myself here, learning to be the Christ here. I, I'm so used to pretending, or covering up, or not sharing. Yeah, everything that's happened here has been so perfect. I've been pissed off, I've wanted to kill people, I've wanted to love people. It's been like... It's a big yo-yo. Yeah, when you come and give me a hug, my mind goes completely blank. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so still being with you, really yeah. safe. I never knew that my heart could be so thick and full. Every face I look at, I have another um, rush of gratitude for what I've learned that's been given to me in abundance. But the Holy Spirit has brought me home. I've never felt at home anywhere. It does make it a lot easier, you know, when you have mighty companions there and you can open up and share, and it's a powerful experience. And so, in one sense, you're like the guinea pigs for the Holy Spirit, you know, going ahead and, and showing what's possible, and demonstrating it for the rest of the world. And even though this has been like a, just a six week little mini community, I think it, it, the experiences speak for themselves. I mean, I've loved being here with you, I've loved listening to you very, very much. But I don't need you all the time to feel God's love shining through every person. And that's what, that makes me very comfortable and happy that I like, when I watch you, I don't look at you, you David, David, David. I, it's like I can th look through you to God's love, and that's and and that's oh, that's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. For, that's all about. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm.